Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Okay, so Aries, um, it looks like you've kind of had like a like divine intervention really happen here to where whatever you believe in, whether it's God or whatever, I don't know. Um, they put a halt, a stop to something because, um, to some relationship because it looks like you, yeah, this is you, um, you were more invested in this person and this relationship than the other person. And you were so invested in this person and in this relationship and it was never going to turn over for you or return. You weren't going to get a return on your investment. It was going to be null and void. It was going to be this person continuously taking your energy, your time, your resources, your love, and um, doing nothing with it. And it could be because this person is already coupled or married. So it looks like the divine came in and put a halt to this, a stop to this, where it kind of shifted the energy. Um, maybe you something was revealed to you. You could you could see something more clearly, or it was it came out more balanced for you. Like you can see that this person wasn't um, going to ever be the person you need them to be. Um, there was no room for them to do that with you. Um, I don't know. Something was revealed to you. Or maybe you had an aha moment. It's like you were resting too much in the sun, in, in a happy place, in a positive place about this relationship, about this person. But this, but divine wanted you to see the dark or, or the light or the moon energy. What you don't see, what is hidden. Um, maybe that their love is plural. They have other people that they give their attention, affection, love, whatever to. Or one specific person. It looks like you are putting all your energy and your time behind this person. And you might even have been neglecting um, your mom duties. Your friends could have been talking to you about what you needed to do. Or you could have been talking to your friends about this person and they were trying to give you advice but at the same time I don't think you were taking it you could have been more infatuated with the fact of how somebody looks or vice versa they were infatuated with how you look there was an unhealthy connection here because there were no boundaries here there was no line drawn in the sand there were no there was no standard so this person kind of took advantage of the connection they saw you putting all the energy, the work into it, and they weren't, they were not going to, it was not going to manifest. You not, you guys were not building a life together. You weren't putting your energy, your time, your talents toward the right thing. It was the wrong thing. So it looks like spirit came in and shifted the energy, woke you up, gave you a wake up call, and maybe helped you redirect and refocus. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it looks like this person, it was never going to be an opportunity for this to grow. It was going to stay stuck and stagnant wherever it was. And this was something you had to chase. The Ace of Pentacles upright says, an opportunity presented to you. No chase. Not to chase it. It's presented to you. So you kind of felt like you had to chase this person or you were the chaser, they were the runner or um, you felt, once again, more energy into this connection. Somebody was more invested than the other and more invested in the outcome, what they wanted to happen. Oh, I want to be in a relationship with this person. Oh, I want to travel with this person. Oh, I want to live with this person eventually. I want to have a family. This person wasn't invested like that. And um, 
The universe wanted you to see this. You and this person could be on a break now. You could be going through like the self-evaluation, healing, learning about yourself in terms of other people in relationship. You could be in that phase. You could be thinking about traveling. I don't know if this person betrayed you or there was like some devastation here or there was like a breakdown or this person is now feeling like maybe you leaving or you coming to the light in terms of what the relationship was. Maybe they feel like they have been betrayed. They've been backstabbed. They've been duped. They're the victim now. I don't know. But it's, it's like a... Um, this person could want to apologize to you. They don't have any anything to offer, though, but the apology. They don't feel like it's a missed opportunity. They just feel like this is time apart. You guys will get back together. They can feel like, um, you know, like they're willing. No. That's not it. Um, spirit is kind of protecting you from this connection, this relationship, because um, you keep putting yourself out there. You keep giving to this connection. You're gonna feel um, very depleted, and you're gonna feel uh, you're gonna be in a ten of swords. You're gonna feel this really hard. Um, you're gonna feel the betrayal. The upset. You're going to feel exhausted. This card talks about exhaustion. It talks about um, collapse. It's all going to fall down. No boundaries is not a standard. It's just no boundaries. I don't know why that. So anyway. Um, they want you to focus on you. Focus on reestablishing you. If some of you, if you're back in school or you're learning something, maybe continue education, continue on education. Um, focus on that. Focus on moving you forward. Um, developing and honing your own craft and cultivating a better um, existence for you. It says right now you just need to be focused on wash, wash rinse, repeat. Um... That's the cycle that you need to be focused on. Waking up, going to work, doing whatever it is you do. I don't know. Um, but the focus needs to be on you. And not on this connection because this might be a losing battle. Um, this can all come crashing down and blow up in your face. Uh, ooh. And, and somebody out there, could be a friend, because you have the friends shell, could be saying, I told you so. Let your friends help you also. The cards want you to move in a new positive direction. Because this is not for you. Or this person is not for you. This relationship is not for you. What is due unto you is trying to come to you with the justice card here. Um... The wrongs will be righted in due time. But with these three major arcanas here, it's like... Spirit had to wake you up to the fact that... Yeah, this, there were other parties involved here. Whether it was a main person and then a side or... It was a main person and then several side people. I don't know. It, And if this is you doing this and spirits trying to wake you up and move you in a new direction, you may have to even move. Yep, you may have to even move away from. Your mom could be giving you good advice also if your mother is still with you. You might even have to move away from these people, um, away from temptation. 
Yep. If this is you. Okay, Aries, I hope that the reading resonated for you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question or receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. All links are below. Thank you. Take care.